You know, I, I love challenging days, man. I really do. Like today, it's fucking balls hot in there. I don't know if the air conditioning here is broken, but every fan is running right now. You know, not many people are there today. You know, it's another day to improve, but because it's too hot, oh, I can't do it, you know? And, and it's such a good lesson in life because when is it ever going to be the ideal situation for you to, to run your course or start your action or pursue your endeavors? It's never going to be ideal. It's never going to be this perfect storm of opportunity for you to say, okay, this is the time. It's never going to broadcast it and highlight it for you. It starts when you put one foot in front of the other. And if you're going to use like excuses, sure, it's hot as shit outside. And it might be too much for a lot of people. But for a lot of other people, you know, what's to be is more exciting and overrides whatever today's trials and tribulations are. And when you can do that, man, when you start seeing the future, willing to sacrifice today for that kind of opportunity to mature into a reality, man, you're really thinking the right way. You're that person that sees the journey ahead as, yes, we still have a long way to go, but, man, we sure have come a long way up to now. Most people quit because they focus on how far to go still, never realizing how far they've already come. In perspective, it's not that much further. It's not that much further. But if you're, not, if you're thinking wrong and thinking, you know, and, and weighing all your decisions on like the, the temporary comfort levels of heat, or you're tired, or the job's on your ass, or the, the girlfriend, or your fucking husband, boyfriend, whatever is on your ass, or all these little kind of nitpicky things, I think they're tests, really. When you find yourself going down a road and like everything's kind of going wrong, if there's a higher power, I think that's when they're testing you to see if you're ready for the responsibility of greatness. Because with great response, I mean, a great achievement comes that responsibility that everyone's going to be looking at you and judging you and picking you apart and trying to break you down. Are you strong enough for all that? Yes, you're capable of achieving it, but are you mentally strong enough to endure it? So when I see all these like random things going wrong in my life, I'm like, fuck, hey man, why is everything going wrong? What the fuck did I do to cause all these problems, you know? Part of me thinks it's like, it, it's like the calm before the storm in a way, making sure you're equipped mentally to endure what you're about to achieve physically or to achieve with, you know, title-wise or whatever that may be. So think of it that way. Everything I'm saying, guys, is perspective on how you see it. The reality of what it is isn't as strong as perception of how you see it. Today, hot as hell in there. That's cool. Muscles warm up faster. Very quick. Thanks for watching.